that's Tuesday morning, September 5th. So everybody, everybody's already gone. Uh, they left, uh, my dad left the uh, day before Labor Day and um, my brother, my cousin, uh, Cam, Shannon, and Griffin, they all left, uh, left yesterday. It was school day and work day for most. Uh, I was just lucky enough to not have to work today. So uh, didn't shoot much video yesterday when everybody was leaving because man, I tell you what, it was a heavy, heavy downpour most of the morning. And then uh, after they left, uh, uh, just when they were getting finished, me and my father and I were working on our on the, the riding lawnmower, put some new blades on it, and I think one of the spindles are just slightly bent just a little bit, and the blades are just barely touching. So took the blades on and off a couple times, broke the grinder out, ground them down, all the things cutting like a champ. So uh, that's what was going on when when everybody was leaving. So they left around about four o'clock or something, and we. Um, I went over and, and uh, cut the back piece of property, mowed that grass, wanted to test it out, and it ran great. And then uh, hooked up the log splitter to the four-wheeler, ran over, and my father-in-law cut, uh, cut up a bunch of uh, maple from a down tree that we, we took down a while back. And uh, that was all cut up in nice sections. And uh, so we took the log splitter over there and split all that up last night. And that was, I don't know, we got done probably around 7.30, I'm thinking. It was about 7.30 at night. And, uh, you know, I had a couple of beers and I sat around the bonfire and I was keeping these guys burning last night. I loaded this one up yesterday and uh, it was still burning this morning. So I got that stump in there. It doesn't seem like it's burning as quickly as I would think. But, uh, but yeah, we've got, uh, we got that going. The other one's pretty much out. Just let that one go. So it was 7.30, 8 o'clock or something, you know, by the time all that was done and Sat down, had a couple of a couple of beers, and uh, jumped in the shower and had something to eat. Man, I tell you what, I watched me a couple of videos, and I was about out after that. So it's raining again this morning. Kind of slept in a little bit, you know. While it was raining, probably didn't get up till I don't know, eight or nine o'clock or something like that. It's Ten o'clock now, maybe it's eight o'clock, eight thirty. I don't know. And I had a few cups of coffee, and I uh, already kind of got up and. Just been walking around, kind of figure out what I'm gonna do today. So probably gotta stack up that wood that I split yesterday, and uh, I've got a shelf in the trailer that I wanna I wanna put together. So might end up uh, might end up doing that today too before I get out of here. It's been a project I've been wanting to do for the last two or three times. There's just never enough time. You know the the work list is longer than the the time available. So we just get get what we can done. So but that's what's going on here on Tuesday morning. So. We'll be leaving today, heading back at some point. Um, usually take off between 3 and 5 o'clock, so we'll be heading back and getting home tomorrow night. And uh, I got the water tank too. We didn't hardly use any water, so I picked it up. Picked up 200 gallons, and I bet I didn't use but 10 or 20 gallons out of it. So I may transfer that water into one of the on-site storage tanks, so next time I come up I know I'll at least have you know a couple hundred gallons on hand. So, no, you know, rather than wasting it, so that'll add that to the list of wish list of things that I want to do before I get out of here. So, we'll see what happens. So, um, you can kind of see here, you kind of see all the trees that uh, have been tagged with the blue paint that have to come down. Either they're dead, or you know, it's just a crappy tree, or whatever the story is, right? But you can see all these trees that are hit with the blue paint are gonna have to come down you know so we're gonna leave a few but not many so it's gonna open up this property uh, it's gonna allow some sunlight to come in you know uh, give us good solar solar potential that's gonna give us our power and uh, just kind of get a clean slate clean palette for you know what this place is gonna turn into you know but once all these trees down then we gotta gotta get our hands on a stump grinder and because uh, there's there's an absolute ton of stumps I, I did uh, first or second, yeah, first day I was up here, I cut down some of these stumps that were flush that we had kind of been walking around, and, and just as I expected, you know, I totally destroyed a chain, you know, so I have to resharpen that when I get home, and the bar is still good, but the chain just went to crap, it wouldn't cut, wouldn't cut hot butter, so, and, uh, it, it was doing all right, and the last stump I got into, I got on just a little bit of an angle, I ended up eating some dirt, and dirt and chainsaws don't mix, right, so it just knocks her down, so, but, all right, so anything else interesting happened today, I'll go uh, grab the camera and 
show you what's happening. So, hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday today. I'm having a great one. I don't care if it's a rainy day, snowy day, whatever it is. It's always a better day up north. So, hope you're having a great day, and we'll check you a little bit later. Peace. Come on, Harley. <whistles> Come on. It's a little red uh, lawn mower there. I know I talked about this a couple times, but that's a good mower. I have uh, I've beat the snot out of that thing this past few weekends, just mowing stuff bigger than I should. But uh, but it worked really good, so that came in big time handy. Yeah, so this is what I mowed yesterday. Once we got that lawn mower running, took it on a little test run. I don't know how long it took. It didn't take too long. I'll cut this side here and then cut the driveway, this side of the trailer. Looks like it did a good job to me. So, yep, did all that in the driveway. Here's the uh, wood pile we knocked out last night. So, there was a there's a little bit more to go. So. That maple is all right there. It's pretty, pretty good sized stuff. Some of it was bad. It's a little less desirable, but uh, this is all good wood here. So got that all split up. This is a little punky stuff. Be good for the bonfire, but we got some more to clean up. That was what we uh, ended up getting that knocked out yesterday. Still got that wood to split up there. Take care of that. Got another little pile over there. But if you recall, there was a big stack of wood over there. The boys split it up. Got some little cleanup to do. And was able to stack that up there. So there is uh there's quite a few rows there. We got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's almost six rows, so got lots of firewood there. Log splitter we brought up, so came in handy, did pretty good. Got a hitch there, hooked her up on the four-wheeler. Probably getting a drink of water. Yep, back to the house. The long tractor that uh, that I got from work that uh, had some bent steering and bald tires and needed some blades and needed a little bit of work. But uh, yeah, so got a hitch to put on there, a ball to put on there. I'm gonna try and go get that and see if that'll fit. So, all right. All right, so my father-in-law picked me up this two-inch ball with a with a small shank on it. So I'm going to see if that fits on the tractor. Hopefully it fits right on there without drilling it out. Ah, perfect. Get that tightened down. Yeah, just walking down the front of the property here, road road view. Probably a little bouncy here, sorry about that. But you can see into the property a little bit. You know, we're gonna we'll plant some some kind of privacy, some pine trees or something to and eventually grow into some some more privacy from the road. Definitely got a lot of work done this weekend. So, got more done than I thought we would, that's for sure. So, all right, get get moving here. Just getting things kind of packed up, so this here I put up this yellow uh, pipe over the chain, the cable there that goes across the uh, entrance, just for a little better visibility in case somebody's riding their four-wheeler through there or something, so. That's good. Anybody really should be riding their four-wheeler through there if we're not here, but that's uh, a little more visibility there, so. All right, cool. All right, let's see if we can make better use of space here. So I had these brackets, or these um, shelves. They were a little tall, I had to cut down. So there are those shelves there, I cut those down. So let's, let's get this straightened around a little bit. Looks like that shelf's gonna fit in there pretty good. All right, cool. All right, that's a little bit better. That's a step in the right direction. We'll keep on working. That's right, a little more organized. So, all right, perfect. Still got room. Got this fire pit, this one's still burning from yesterday. So those, those big old logs I threw on there last night, they're almost done, so. Stumps underneath there, we'll see what that looks like next time. 
So just kind of packing up, you know, all the tools and everything I had over here so I can start putting things away. So I've got to get the trailer loaded up, loaded log splitter. Got the tent closed up. Got the trailer loaded up with everything we use has got to get put back. So that's what we're doing. Cleanup day. stump out getting little projects done here in the last day I know the chairs gotta take that tire off get it fixed I remounted that solar light today try and get a little better better Sun action so see how that works out getting windy clouds are a little dark over there got the trees moving around a bit it's about 140 all right, it all loaded up for the ride home, drained out that water. Just kind of drained it out in the road there. Plus we had a bunch of rain. So, it's a wet one on the way out. Got the splitter all strapped down good. That ain't going nowhere. So, all right, that's it, that's a wrap. Don't know if you can see this, but we got a double rainbow. I don't know if it'll show up, we'll see. What we're dealing with on the drive home this is an absolute downpour. Uh, about an hour and a half out, I'd say. Yep, 85 miles to Detroit, it says. Alright, see you soon. Another rainbow. This has been just a barrage of rainbows and raindrops from the ride home. Oh, yeah. Let's check the mileage on that van if you can read that. 249 one, one miles 249,000